Welcome to season four of Andaz. For those of you that know us, welcome back. For those of you that don't know us, Andaz is an inspirational talk show brought to you from the United States. We scour the entire country looking for inspirational stories just for you. We talk to innovators, entrepreneurs, fashion designers, artists, and more. Every week we have a new topic and great guests. This week's topic is all about the world of fashion. I mean, I remember when I was a child watching my mom wear glitzy gowns and beautiful saris to all of those Indian occasions, and it just touched my heart. And I always thought, one day I want to grow up and dress just like that. In fact, sometimes I'd sneak in her closet and wear some of her outfits and prance around and put on a little bit of makeup and do dress up. But where does the inspiration behind these designs come from? How do these designers do it? I mean, create such masterpieces. I mean, nowadays, the tradition from India is fusing with Western fashion. And we start off the show talking to one amazing designer. I mean, he's an Indian from India who now dresses Michelle Obama, Padma Lakshmi, and several other celebrities in Hollywood. We're going to head to New York City where we talk to Naeem Khan about what inspires him and where does his creation come from. Let's go check it out. I'm here in this fabulous showroom in New York City with world-renowned fashion designer Naeem Khan. Hi, Naeem. How How are are you? you? I'm I'm well. I'm good to have you guys in here. Yeah, thanks for being on Andaz. So considering the recent presidential election, Mm -hmm. let's talk about Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. How exactly would you describe her style? Very sophisticated. She understands she's the first lady. She knows what the protocol is and she dresses for the occasion. She is willing to experiment with young designers, new designers, and she's become the ambassador for fashion, for American fashion. She's a fashion. style icon she's around the world. She's a style world. icon. I mean, yeah. there are books written about her. And I'm fortunate that she loves my stuff and she loves all the glamour I do. And I've had many an opportunity to dress her. And also the dress worked out so amazing because oh she, God. I feel, looks fabulous in gold. And wow. the whole concept of that dress was really kind of America meets India. Yeah, I love that she's glamorous. got the height, she's got amazing yeah, shoulders. The skin tone the skin and everything. Tone. And imagine gold on that, how fabulous it looks. Yeah. yeah. So how would you describe someone's personal style? I mean, is it mainly, do you figure it out from their body type or their personality or what I do think you think? Both, it's a combination of things. But people change. I mean, I've seen people who come in who might be like kind of introvert and suddenly they'll wear something glamorous and they become so outgoing and it changes because it changes because it we makes were. you feel you can take over the world yeah glamorous does something to a to a person where you feel so confident you feel fabulous They always say a girl in the right pair of shoes can change the world. (laughs) And shoes make such a great difference. Yeah. I mean, every time I see my model and they're wearing a dress, they put on the shoes, the whole thing changes. It's like bam. Bam. So this showroom is absolutely stunning. I literally did not expect it to be this amazing when I walked in, and I love it. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. I mean, I designed the showroom myself, and I just felt that I had to bring old Hollywood mixed with India, the doors were made in India. Wow. You'll see my bathroom, which is like really unbelievable because oh I God. took that inspiration from the palaces in India with all the mirror works that wow. they do. So I had this entire cube of a bathroom done in all mirrors and with a chandelier in the middle. It, it, it wow. really is fabulous. So how do you get your inspiration? Do you have a certain muse or I mean, when you're designing your pieces? Yeah, I mean, inspiration comes from various things. It could be a person, it could be your travels, it could be walking in a garden and looking at a flower, for example. Right. It could be looking at somebody's lips, for example, the color of your lips. Or it could be anything. I mean, it could be the heater. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> It Just anything, anything that if affects you in some way. Exactly. Basically. Photographers to artists to, you know, many different places. Tell me about your um, 2013 spring summer collection. 2013 was inspired from two things. It was firstly from my travels. And what I did was I was in a fabulous resort in on the border of Utah and Arizona, uh, Amun, Amungiri. Okay. Uh, Amun resorts are super luxurious. So right. you live in these 
you were living in the desert with in the Grand Canyon. You're I mean, like, like the king of luxury. <laughs> I <laughs> need to get things. right down all these hot spots you go so, to. So I g- went there by myself and I took some time off because I needed to clear my head. But what inspired me was the colors of the sky. And, wow. and what was happening in the evening was magical. And all those oranges, the way the degradation of the colors. From there I'd come back and then a week later I went to Hawaii. So I was in Kauai and being on the beach with all that surf so taking pictures of the way the surf kind of bubbles up. Yeah. But then I took a person as an inspiration who was the the Duchess of Windsor. So oh. because I dress royalty, right? right I dress of course. the big stars. So yeah. how do you take royalty and you put it with the sky and the beach and all that kind of right. stuff and combine it with all the luxuries of embroidery and all that the beautiful fabrics. So that was the inspiration. So That's it was amazing. Duchess of Windsor mixed with the sky and, and the ocean. Thank you, Isha. I loved Naeem Khan's designs. And you know what I really loved is how he said that what you wear makes you feel confident and glamorous. That is actually so true. I feel like fashion actually uplifts your spirits and you can transform into who you want to be and start walking with that attitude. And one of my favorite rising stars is in Dallas. Her clothing will blow you away. She is at par with some of the top designers in India and Ruby Bandari from Silk Threads did this all on her own from her own inspiration and her creation. Let's take a look at some of her designs. Andra brought you by Silk Threads. The name says it all. Your designs are just so glamorous and I wish you all the best with your new collection. Well, what you wear does build your confidence. And we're lucky enough to get a quick tip of the week from innovator Naveen Jain, who talks to us about building your confidence in life and in business. Let's go take a look. Confidence and success is what creates a virtuous cycle of life. The more confident you are, the more successful you become. And the more successful you become, the more confident you are. So how do you become confident? You have to believe in yourself the day that you can say that anything I know, I can do it. And if it's in your heart, you start to believe in that, you can start to say that to everybody else. You have to believe in yourself before somebody else will believe in you. Andaz, brought to you by Basic Ayurveda. Your source for Ayurvedic juices. Yatek Institute. The art of medicine. The science of weight loss. Thanks, Naveen. Your tips are always so inspirational. Have you ever dressed up in an outfit and had the camera right in front of you and you don't know how to pose? You don't know how to look good? Feel a little insecure when the camera comes on? Well, that happens to me actually with a still camera. And I think looking good in front of the camera means developing your self-confidence and just letting loose. But I wanted to find out a little more. So I headed to Los Angeles where I talked to celebrity photographer Ash Gupta about how those models do it. How do they feel so sexy and confident? And he spilled those secrets. Let's go check it out. Great to have you back here on Andaz, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure of mine to be on the set, yeah. Many people feel like their passion cannot become a career. It's not lucrative, it's not practical. What advice do you have for those people? I think my advice is your passion should be your career. What it could be better that you can make a buck or two by doing what you will do if you get a chance. You would have been doing that thing. Whenever you're gonna finish your other job, 
you'll go back to your passion. So you're a prime example of somebody following their passion and doing so well at it. I mean, you have had the whole gamut of celebrities in Los Angeles. Give us a story. My first celebrity in America was uh, Bruce Lee's daughter, oh, wow. uh, Shannon Lee. And finally, I got to know that I'm shooting her for a cover of a magazine. How did that moment it feel? It was tough because I'm like, wow, Bruce, you know. And next morning, I saw her ordinary girl with the jeans and a shirt. And she was as nervous for a photo shoot because she never carries fashionable clothes. Yeah. She's a martial artist and a singer. So she just a recording artist. So she was, she told me once we became friends that I was equally nervous as you were. Uh -huh. So that went very well. I got to know that uh, is uh, anxiety is both ways same, you know, like they are equally nervous on facing the camera, you know, as we are that shooting them. Yeah, you know, I know that a lot of people probably come to you and they say, Ash, I want you to create the persona of me as a celebrity. What do you do? What's that process? That's called branding. Yeah, yeah. well, they have to be real because if they're real, if they're not resisting, because if you're not resisting, you're going to be real then it's up to me to find the beauty in you, to find the fashion in you, find the style in you, because everybody's born with that. Everyone has it, right? Everyone has it. You just, you don't, it's, and you know how to bring it out. I, yeah. Well, anybody can bring that out. The problem is we know a little better because you're resisting. One part of their brain is always there, how do I look? Let it go, you're looking beautiful if you're feeling beautiful. If you're worried about that, yes, camera is capturing you worried. Yeah, that's exactly that's what exactly it is. Exactly like what is happening right now. Natural. Yeah. Forget that there's cameras and lights yeah, and everything else. All right. <laughs>
Well, you can't look good in your designs until you feel great. And feeling great means take care of your mind, your body, and your soul. Every week here on Andaz, Jay Piatek from the Piatek Institute gives us a weight loss myth buster. Let's go check it out. Sure, Sarka. What causes aging and is, is that we go from a growth curve where we're growing, 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 and then it starts going downhill. Well, as it's going down, 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 we want to stop that. Well, how you can stop that is by replacing what is allowing it to happen which is a lowering testosterone level or growth hormone level. Some other thoughts on slowing the curve is to lose weight. Exercise is like a drug to slow the aging process. When you cook at home, try not to put a lot of oxidative stress on your body, which would be through real fattening foods. Uh, you want to add uh, turmeric to your diet as that is a, one of the greatest antioxidants. And some people believe it prevents cancer, helps your blood pressure, etc. Andaz, brought to you by Basic Ayurveda. Your source for Ayurvedic juices. Piatek Institute. The art of medicine. The science of weight loss. Thanks, Jay. We actually have a full interview with Jay Piatek, and he gives us some amazing tips. So go to our YouTube channel to see last week's full interview. Well, we've all had dreams since we were children. I know my dream was to one day create content and have a TV show that was going to change the world. And I grew up to pursue my dream, and so did another little boy. He launched his first clothing line when he was only 15 years old. Wow. And today he designs for so many celebrities, such as Paris Hilton, Celine Dion, Lisa Ray, and the list goes on and on and on. Next, we talk to Michael Costello. He is an amazing designer. His designs are going to blow you away. Let's check out how he did it. Hi, Michael. Thank you for having me. Yeah, first of all, I'm in love with your collection. I feel like we were meant to meet each other so I can just wear all your clothes. <laughs> but so I know you started off at a really young age. When you were 14, you designed your first couture collection. Yes. When you were 15, you opened your own boutique. Yeah. You've been at Mercedes-Benz Fashion yeah. Week. You design clothes for celebrities all over the US. I mean, you do so much and you've come such a long way. So what is the inspiration behind your pieces? I get inspiration from everywhere, just from like the flow of fabric or just draping something on a mannequin, using pins to, to pleat something, a beautiful color. Yeah. Like your lipstick right now yeah. is making me think of a new resort collection. And I'm such a romantic designer, I think. Yeah, Everything definitely. I make is very theatrical and, and sometimes it has too much drama. <laughs> hey, we all need a little drama in yeah, our lives. There's a story to tell. And I know you like recently have been doing a lot of like Lily Galici from the Shots of Sunset. You did Joanna Krupa from Real Housewives of Miami. Housewives. Lily Galici has been such a blessing to my business. Um, it's almost insane how many women out there reach out to me and say we want to look just like her. This lady calls me and she goes, I want more birds <laughs> on the dress. <laughs> You put more bird on oh the neck. God. So I was like, <laughs> you were like Who are you? <laughs> so I had to ask my partner, I was like, well, what does she mean by yeah, birds? He's like, yeah. feathers, feathers. feathers. Like, okay, yeah. we'll put more birds on the dress for oh you. No problem. God. How did you know that this was your passion? This is what you were meant to do your whole life? I've, I've never wanted to wake up and not do what I do. Right. Ever since I was a little kid, all I could dream about is fabrics and colors and, and drawing and sketching and designing. It's just something I've always wanted to do and had a lot of support growing up. Right, and you never even went to school? You didn't learn how, you didn't know how to sew? Or how did that happen? You just taught yourself. I did. Um, I have to give a lot of credit to my mom because she helped me to sew my first piece. Um, I, I believe I was probably about 11 years old and um, she, had, she was making a pair of pants and she took out two yards of fabric, threw it on the floor, cut the pants out and I was amazed. Wow. And, and I wanted like, to do that. I want to be like that. Yeah, I said, I want to try that. Yeah. So she showed me how to do it and, and now she calls me for sewing tips and sewing tricks. And, oh. yeah. and look at where you've come. You've been on this long journey. All your stuff drapes so beautifully. Can I try something on? Yeah, we're <laughs> definitely going to try something on. I don't know what we're going to try on. Okay, yeah, well, let's, we're, let's, let's look through your whole rack and then maybe I'll come out in something exciting.
Wow, Michael, this gown is just stunning. I yeah. feel like I'm a princess. <laughs> you look India. like a princess, an Indian princess. Yeah, this princess is Jasmine. beautiful. <laughs> what other um, trends are going on right now or in the upcoming season? Color is just really, really hot, but I think we're seeing a lot of youthful colors now, but more classic silhouettes. Like we're going back to the beautiful 40s with fashion, but doing the in hot pink or tangerine or like right. bright jewel colors and jewel tone colors mm -hmm. for these old classic American favorites. Yeah. And I think that's one of the trends we're gonna start seeing now. Well, I had such a great time with you I and too. I'm gonna keep stalking your Instagram and looking Please. at all your beautiful dresses, but thank you so much. Oh yes, I loved it. <laughs>